This instructional video is designed to show you how to determine the ground state term symbol for a couple of different examples. I already have written out the electron configuration for carbon, so we'll start there. So in this case, we're going to write out the orbital diagram. So we have 1s, 1, 2, 2s, 1, 2, and our 2p, 1, 2. So now to find S, we're just going to add up all of our spins. Bear in mind that because these are paired, the plus a half and minus a half will actually cancel each other. So we really can just skip to the unpaired ones. So to find the value for S, we have plus a half and another plus a half. That's equal to 1, which means that our 2S plus 1 term is going to be a 3. Next. To find a value for L, we'll just add up these. So that's a plus 1 and a 0. So L is going to be 1, which means that we have a P. And for J, the rule we want to use says that because this is less than half full, we're going to take the difference between these two and get the absolute value. Well, that's just equal to 0. And so if we put all of that together, then what we have is a triplet P0 for the ground state for carbon. So now we can do a ground state term symbol for chlorine. Uh, just for the sake of brevity, I've acknowledged that there's a noble gas core, but that's not important for what we're doing. So 3S, 1, 2, 3P, has 5, so 1, 2, 3, Four, five. And if you need a refresher on how to do electron configurations, feel free to look that up in the general chemistry section. So here for the S, this is paired, so we don't worry about that. This one is not completely full. So I've got one, two, three spin ups, one, two spin downs. And you'll note that these two plus a halves cancel these two minus a halves. So we end up really only needing to have worried about the one unpaired. So that means that S equals 1 half, and 2S plus 1 is going to be 2. For our L, we have plus 1 plus 1, plus 0 plus 0, and minus 1. So these two will cancel, leaving me with just a 1. And that's going to give me a P as well. And now for J, because this is more than half full, what I want to do is use L plus S. So S was 1 half, L was 1. So that's going to be 3 halves. And that means that our ground state term symbol for chlorine is going to be a doublet P 3 halves. So that's the first two. Now, what I'd like to do is actually erase this, and we'll look at what happens when we have something that's half full. So for that, I'm going to use chromium. Chromium is a well-known example of an exception to our usual rules for how we fill things in. And so chromium has a null gas core, 4s1, 3D, 5. May need a little more room. So, we do the same thing as before. We're going to write out the orbital diagram. 4S1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Starting with plus 2, going all the way down to minus 2 for our 3D. And there are 5 electrons in there as well. So now in this case, to find the value for S, we would add up all of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 halves is just 3, which means that 2S plus 1 is actually going to be 7. For the L, we've got 0, plus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. These two will cancel, these two will cancel. The entire thing for L is zero. And this always happens 
when you have something that is exactly halfway filled. Now, this is halfway full. If we were using the less than half full rule, we'd do three minus zero and end up with three. When we were doing the more than half full, we'd have three plus zero, which is still just three. And that's the reason why, when it's half full, the J value is the same as the S. And so now, because our multiplicity was seven, that is a septuplet. This zero gives us an S, three. And so the ground state term symbol for uh, chromium is a septuplet S3. And this is an example of how we can write out ground state term symbols using the basic rules for determining all of the parts of an individual term.